Hi Virgo, welcome to your uh, angel messages. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll leave my um, info for personal readings in the description box. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let's just get right into it. So these are just quick little messages from the angels um, about whatever you need to hear right now. This is timeless, so whenever you come across this, um, you can come back to it at a later date. Um, also, I'll be starting the regular um, Zodiac videos today as well, so the longer ones. So we'll get into that. Um, but yeah, so let's see what's going on for my Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are um, the messages for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got Seven of Swords. The moon is sticking out to me. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Give me one more for the top row. Cool. All right. Two of Wands. And Six of Cups. And then let's clarify. So Seven of Swords, please. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Cool. Okay. The Star. About nine of pentacles, ten of cups, Great. two of wands, because the four of pentacles and six of cups. Ooh, I just take this one. The Empress, clarifying the six of cups. Let me pick up the four of pentacles real quick. I dropped on the floor. Um, went all the way over there. All right. My cards like to fly all over the place. <laughs> all right. I'll fix my position here. All right. So for my Virgos, you got the moon at the bottom. As I said, the, the moon was sticking out to me in the seven of um, swords. You got the moon card at the bottom here. All right, so Virgos. Something you've been working on for a while, at least a year, um, is about to pay off, is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing you really enjoy this. Thing. This isn't something that you, you feel forced to do or you feel obligated to do. This is something you really enjoy. This is something that um, I almost see it, take it going to a higher level or you taking it to a higher level that's more fulfilling for you, if that makes sense, um, or you adding on something that's more fulfilling or um, making it like you've been doing it one way for so long. It's like you're going to get this idea to do it another way or to add something to it that makes it more um, enjoyable for you, even more so than it was before. I hope that makes sense. But with the Seven of Swords clarified by the star, this is kind of telling me, because the Seven of Swords is, is like going your own way or doing your own thing. Some It's also the card of deception, but since it's clarified by the star, I'm not seeing that. Um, I'm seeing this as um, you have been on this path for a while now and you've been working on something that you've really been... Um, hopeful about taking off and it's been a wish of yours it's been something that you really see a lot of fulfillment in and with the nine of pentacles clarified by the ten of cups she the nine of pentacles for me is all about like she just looks like she she's you know like flourishing and she's abundant and um she's you know self-employed she's just somebody who's in her own energy and loves being in her own energy and is confident in that and is building something for herself, creating something for herself and is happy um, no matter what because she loves doing this thing. With Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is the card of emotional fulfillment, is happiness. Um, this thing, this business, this you know, hobby, um, whatever it is, this thing is just so fulfilling for you and it, it's bringing you emotional fulfillment and it's like, 
I feel like there's been a stall in um, the growth of this or whatever you're trying to do with this. Take this to a higher level in a sense. You've been waiting. Two of Wands is all about planting those seeds, but having to be patient um, for the, you know, for the next move or for the um, rewards. And this is clarified by the um, Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles um, is about withholding. I feel like, again, this is it, things have been withho withheld from you about this and like growth has been withheld or money has been withheld from it. You haven't been making a big amount of coin from this um, thing or as much as you want to make, I should say. Maybe you haven't been able to be self-sufficient on this thing. Um, that you're trying to create or that you've been creating and been you know putting out there um so with this energy right here this is a strong energy of just withheld something being withheld but it, it's divine this has been withheld for a reason and a lot of people have been you know dealing with that have been having all these ideas having all of these um you know new ways of wanting to make income or wanting to be self-sufficient but it's it's not taking off as quickly as they would like or um just not understanding why it's taking so much time for things to get off the ground but it, it is about the times that we're in and have been in um i do feel like i mean right now we're in mercury retrograde when i'm making this but again this is timeless so and it's not to say that nothing can happen or nothing can grow in Mercury retrograde. Um, it's a time of reflection. It's a time of reevaluating what you love, what you want to do, you know, going within. It's not necessarily a bad time. It's a time of, you know, readjusting. And you got Six of Cups here with the Empress. Six of Cups, in this case, I think it's talking about like a childhood dream or something, again, that you feel in your soul is for you, that you feel you're destined to do. Um, I also just saw something with Buddha. I don't know if Buddha is significant to anybody. Like I'm seeing like a Buddha statue um, or like an, um, I think it's like a, a Thai goddess. I'm not sure the name of her, but she has like all the arms. Um... This will resonate for who it's for, but I don't know her name. Um, yeah, so some sort of childhood dream or something that you feel very called to do and have felt very called. This is a hobby you've had that you've tried to make a, a primary source of your income. Um, it's something that you create. You have created. Um, with the Empress here, the Empress is all about creation. It's all about... Um, you know, she's pregnant. She is, you know, a creator. And um, with the moon card as the overall energy, you felt like you've been in the dark. You felt like you've been, you don't know what's going on. You don't know when things are going to start taking off. Um, so I'm going to get a little more clarification. What do you want Virgo to know about when or what time, like what do you want them to know about this not taking off? Seven of Wands. I'm hearing... Um, I'm hearing protection. Your work, your creations, um, your business, whatever it is that it is that you're trying to manifest or bring to life or or um, make a living from, it, it's not taking off how you want it to right now because it's being protected. Again, because I feel like just the energy we're in right now, it's waiting for the perfect time to be able to take off when it will be received the best. It's all about divine timing. And um, I'm just seeing that it's um, being protected. You can tell she's in a bubble. She's being protected uh, from all these wands trying to get to her. I'm hearing something about reading.
Let me get one more card. Trust the process is what I just heard. Trust the process. Anything else you want them to know? Three of Wands. It, it's So you have the Two of Wands here. Um, and the next card is the Three of Wands. It, it's a progression. So things are progressing behind the scenes. It's just about you being patient and knowing that things not going as fast as you want them to is actually a form of protection from the universe. And to know that things are progressing and they will progress at the right time. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's all. Um, oh, judgment here. Timing. Perfect. It's coming. Just be patient. So that's um, your angel messages, Virgo. 